all the smoke, the power going out, the people leaving, the aurora, all happened last night. Which is possible, I guess. It was just, that's a long night. It's a long night. That's a lot to happen. The power seems out all over town. The power's always been spotty here, since the quakes. No money to fix the broken stuff left behind. And nobody from the mainland seemed to care enough to do anything about it. I'm sure someone will come and fix it. Nobody's coming to save Milton. How can you be so sure? I've learned to hear the difference between something quiet and something abandoned. That's a good line. This goes deeper than just a stillness. It feels like the moments before the world goes to sleep. We're just the last ones left to wait to notice it. Okay, that was long. <laughs> that was a long interaction. All right, so this should be pretty easy. Do I just get infinite torches from this? No, I can't, I can't pull torches. Check the gas station for supplies. Do I have I this and a soda, right? Okay, I know that there's stuff in here. I'm just gonna go out. I guess I could sleep in there. Ooh. Run, 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 run. All right, so I'll just use matches. I, there's no reason. There's no reason to save matches right now. Okay, well, chill. Lots of summit sodas. No more cash. Yeah, I'm getting the mixed message of like the fact that this is, this this happened slowly and then Smooth. also happened quickly, and I think that's just because. Must be the key to the bank manager's um, house. Because of Astrid being involved with everything, it doesn't really make sense if Astrid was involved in everything that literally all of this happened within the past few hours. Unless Will was out longer than I'm thinking he was out for, but I don't think that's true. Maybe it was like more than a more than a day. Doesn't I don't think that that's really explored. Free water. Coffee. Oops. This will come in handy. Sure will. Also seems weird that not everybody, if, if they were running out of food, not everybody would pack up all their food. Feels like, I mean, maybe, maybe not. Especially if they had to walk. That, that makes sense. Bank vaults. Locked. Can't oh yeah, that's right. I need to go to the... Got it, got it. Bank manager's key, get the code, etc. All right, let's open this. Crap. We've got most of the, most of the stuff here. Was it? Okay, so it just turned night again, from my understanding, right? So this is the second night since the Aurora? Or the first night, first night since the Aurora? I'm confused. Okay. Margaret, we have to stop accepting mail at Milton. We have no way of getting back to the mainland, but we can tell pe can't tell people that, or they'll know we've been holding onto it all this time, find some excuse, whatever. Whenever you can, encourage people to use email or drone if they can't afford it. I'll keep my eyes open for the mail van, but I don't hold out high hopes. I imagine Jack probably drove it into a tree again somewhere way in the back 40. Um, I wonder if we can find that mail truck. Uh, we're likely to never find it back. Likely to never find it back. Damn, I should have stopped him from taking the truck while he was on the drink. I'll see what I can do to fix the situation. Hold tight. Interesting. Margaret and Jack. <laughs> Ooh, two cans. This stuff will come in handy. Oh yeah, the books are different. That's right. They're like little quest objectives. That's cool. Okay, I think this is my last torch, isn't it? What whoa. Oh well. Okay. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Don't matter, bro. It's yours now. So much stuff. There's so much stuff. It's crazy. 
tearful letter. I don't want to do this, but I don't have a choice. I just can't stay in Milton anymore. It's just too empty and sad. I know I promised to stick with you through the thick and thin, but never signed up for this. I'm sorry. I'll send food when I get to the mainland. I hear they have more there. Love, N. So she just leaves her family or he leaves his family, I think. Interesting. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Who's N? Is it just... I feel like if the name's short, again, it's like someone we're going to meet at a later point. Right? Because they're not going to give us the full name, so we have to put the pieces together. I feel like that's the... Ooh. I I can use this. Okay. Let's drop this stuff off and see how much we actually have to get, because when I was at Grandmother's, I didn't look. We have to get wood and food for her. I can't remember if we need anything else. I think there's like other things that we need to get for her, like medicine and stuff, but I can't quite remember exactly. And there's all these cars that we want to look into as well. Oh, one. Oh. Does she need Tinder? Thanks for all. Thanks for all. Can't remember what she needs. All. Search containers. Okay, so J. Oh, that was easy. That was way easier than I thought. Okay. So that's done. Um now we just need to fill her shit up. We got a bunch of sodas. A bunch of sardines. So we'll do that, we'll do that, we'll do that. I'm keeping that. Um, I mean I can't search her stuff. So we're like halfway there, that's quick. I better take this food. Hey, there we go. That's something. Okay, let's stop by the bank and then drop this food off. And like all of the other crap that we're carrying around too. What's this? Do you remember, it's due to global economic realities that are well known to you, we are unfortunately able to remain in operation. All banking services are hereby suspended until further notice. That is creepy. That just creeps me out. Because like that shit, I can imagine head feel thick. happening in real life. Just like the slow crumbling away of a community. Ooh, creepy. Oh. What is it? I'm gonna need to eat soon. Chill. 1938. Is that a date? 1938? You think that's a date? Okay. Is there actually anything? First bank deposit key. Is there anything in here that I can even take? I don't have any bank deposit keys. I feel like I'm jumping the gun again. Oh, got a chocolate bar. Okay, let's book it. done oh we're so close so close and i look upstairs to see if there's anything upstairs i can put in this fridge maybe 
Uh, I think I'm gonna need to go to the gas station. Nope. Okay. Probably could just like shoot a wolf, honestly. Cook the wolf meat. It would be smarter than just like running around. The thing is, is that it's really hard to shoot anything with a distress pistol. <laughs> Let's check out the schoolhouse. A little bit of lore there. This is just terrible. Yeah. That's all that's it? That's all you're gonna say? Oh glasses. Rough. Hole. This is just terrible. That's all Will has to say about that. Blood? Nothing. Food, food, food. Another soda. Man, cave hidden cash note. Don't trust anyone anymore. People are getting desperate and it's only been a few days since the power went out. I'm going to stash some supplies in our special place above town. You know, near where we look at the stars together. We may need them before help gets here. Interestingly enough, I already went into that cave. So the supplies are just gonna magically appear now, I think. Hmm. Yep. Hey, okay, we got this. This. We got this and this and this and this. Is that it? Did I do it? Check the gas station for more supplies. You're making me go to the gas station now? Come on, dude. Dude? Yep. Rude. <laughs> Is that what she told me to do initially? Shit. Does grandmother have anything else to say to me? Oh no, okay. So I just have to just go to the gas station. Cool. Sick. Yay. Do I need all this tinder? No. Stop this. And I think we're probably- I have so many matches <laughs> already. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, let's go. Get out of here. I don't think I would ever be able to play this guy during the survival sandbox. There's no freaking way with him just grunting the whole time. Hey. Hey. Is there a pry bar in here? I don't think so. Is this just open? It is just open. Okay. Hey, bud, just chilling here. Ooh, this is mine. Unknown. Well, well, another stranger. Have you escaped the town? Escaped the town? No, I just arrived. What do you say that if he's in the town? Not a refugee from the highways, then. You look weary, traveler. Come, warm yourself by the fire. Who are you? I'm nobody. But you can call me Methuselah. I'm here to witness the name. passing of an age. What do you mean, the passing? Don't you see the signs? Methuselah. Okay, so fun fact, if y'all didn't know this already, Methuselah is a figure in the Bible and supposedly lived to the very ripe age of 969 years old. So clearly that was not an accident. What do you think it means? I have a few interpretations. Name means his death shall send, man of the javelin or death of sword. 
Okay, some believe that Methuselah's age is the result of a mistranslation, while others believe that his age is used to give the impression that part of Genesis takes place in a very distant past. Uh, Methuselah's name has become synonymous with longevity, and he has been portrayed and referenced in film, television, and music. Methuselah dies in the year of the Flood, which ends the ten-generational sequence from Adam to Noah, in whose time the world is destroyed. <laughs> okay, got it. There we go. So Methuselah's father, Enoch, who does not die but is taken by God, is the seventh patriarch, and Methuselah the eighth patriarch dies in the year of the flood which ends the 10 generational secrets sequence from adam to noah in whose time the world is destroyed so basically methuselah serves the symbolic function of linking the creation and the flood so the beginning and the end that is what methuselah represents i there could be so many interpretations of this in the game so many predictions of what this means i always felt like methuselah was a super mystical character i feel like even the gray mother is a mystical character that we have these two old mystical characters at the beginning of this game how we interpret that i'm not really sure yet but it does make me feel like there is a matter of like magical realism um or fabulism within this story which pairs with it being kind of slightly sci-fi as well so we're not based in total realism here even though there are a lot of elements to the long dark that are based in reality so i feel like this guy again represents seeing the beginning and seeing the end seeing the apocalypse essentially so he's this observer i also think that clearly methuselah is not his real name so is this a character from some of great bears past is this a character from the tales possibly i don't know i don't know perhaps he will give us more clues in his dialogue what is this town i don't recall seeing it on any maps this is milton <laughs> Paradise lost. Lots of old it's references to old, old literature world, here. Discarded, left okay. behind. You won't find much hope. I need to find my friend. I'm not sure you'll find any friends here. Fair. I'm looking for my friend. She was with me when my plane crashed. But it looks like she must have made it out alive. Have you seen anyone pass by here? Many people have passed. All have gone into the town. I haven't seen any come back. You seem oddly familiar, old man. Is that right? Yeah. And this whole place feels strange and empty. The quakes changed everything here years ago. Great Bear's back was broken, and it's been laid low ever since. Then what are you still doing here? Aren't we here to witness an apocalypse of an apocalypse, you and I? With no his one thought the, the flood. world would end this way. But how could they not have seen it? It's probably just the storm. Power failure. I'm sure everything will be back to normal in a few days. I'm not sure anything will ever be back to normal. Any idea why all the cars are stalled and left behind? They all stopped running. People abandoned them. Nothing but metal coffins now. You always this cheerful? My heart weeps for you, stranger. My days are nearly finished. But you'll have to live with what remains. Go safely, and good luck to you. I hope you find what you're looking for. So it seems like in the original version of this game, um, he was Methuselah was voiced by someone else. Um, which is interesting. He was voiced by the person who also voiced Mathis. I have theories about Methuselah. We can think that maybe he's not real. Maybe he's kind of like this mythical figure that guides Will through this, that guides Will through the apocalypse. You know, we, we can you know, not give him much thought. He can also be, again, someone who has just been around for a really long time and now has kind of gone a little nuts, can basically renaming himself this literary biblical figure that was around um, since creation and then died during the flood. So saw the beginning, saw the end in a way within, within biblical context. I don't know. I'm still kind of clinging to my time travel theory, my something weird about space and time is happening on Great Bear Island. You can watch my signal void playthrough as well as the buried echoes playthrough to get you know my sense that maybe something like that is going on here 
I am wondering if Methuselah is Will. Will did say he was familiar. Either Methuselah is Will or maybe someone from Will's family. I'm not sure, his brother. I feel like he would actually like recognize him if he was his brother, but maybe it is Will himself. I, I don't know, I don't know, but there's, there's something here Something that uh, we do not know yet. And I want to see if I can glean it out with more info. I feel like a dick taking his coffee, so I'm not going to take his coffee. I don't know why. I have a lot of coffee on me. Oh, crackers. Yes. We love crackers. Crackers. Give me the crackers. Give me the dog food. There is so much shit here. Peaches. Sardines. Should have come here first. This is all mine now. This is my food. Grandmother can't have it. Sorry, grandmother. So much soda. The dentist on Graper Island must have made so much money. Can you imagine if like there was this much Pack's food? Kind of heavy. Yeah, shh, quiet. This much food in here. Um, in survival mode. <laughs> Man, what a place. I still don't have a pry bar either. Ooh, bedroll. Okay, that is all the time I have for this episode. I need to head out. Do let me know your thoughts on some of my theories as well as some of my interpretations. I would really like to hear it and interact with you in the comments. Um, I think that there is a lot of unanswered questions within Winter Mute and a lot of things that are up for interpretation. So I always like to hear the opinions of others and whether or not you think I'm on track or think I'm just absolutely uh, going, flying way off in the wrong direction or, or thinking things over too hard. In the next episode, we will finish up chapter one.